good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for everything. I really appreciate each and every one. So, I've been here wondering. Some people are being deported from Dubai. Others are yearning to run out of the houses to go to Dubai. If I may ask, what is so special in Dubai? Hmm? If some people have been accused of being prostitutes in those countries, so why are you running out of the house to go to Dubai because you've been told you'll be getting some, like, big man? I think... It's high time we think about this, by the way, housemen. Do you know what? We are so special, though some people, they don't notice this. Let me tell you why we are so special, we housemaids. When you were coming in, the, in these houses, you were thorough checked up. So you were so fine. That means you, you are good. You, are, you have no any disease that is disturbing you so you you should give a tick for that apart from those who faked their results maybe apart from those who were you know but when you reach this side still to work in someone's house to those people who are responsible they have to make a thorough checkup still so i should be proud right now because um i'm healthy I'm, I'm good, you know. I should be proud of that. If you, your bosses were responsible, they took you for a thorough checkup for the second time. When you're coming, they first check you. When you reach this side, they have to check you again. So you guys, you should be proud. They, there is no need for you to run out of this house because you want to go and work outside. There is a housemaid. She has been working in here in Saudi Arabia. So she got a boyfriend. The boyfriend, this, this, the so-called dating online, you know. So after finishing her contract, she went to Dubai. She did not even go back to, to her country. She went straight to Dubai. I don't know how they connected. It's maybe another story, maybe, I don't know. But then when she reached there, this guy, her main his main intention was to infect this innocent housemaid with HIV. Just imagine. The man lied the, this housemaid that there is a job here and you will be working outside. So she went to Dubai. They did not go for a checkup. They just have a, just one night stand like this. And you're going to take ARVs for the rest of your life. Just imagine, housemate. Don't run for too much. It's like we are going to sell our life. We are going to sell our... <laughs> I feel so sorry for her. Because she wanted to work outside. We should be proud, though we are always indoors, but we are given security. Let me tell you, I can spend the whole year without going out, which is okay for me, because I'm given everything. Even if I'm not given everything, if I send someone to go and get it for me, that is okay. Eh? Let me give you an let me give you one thing why you should not yearn for those offs by the way. Okay, let, if you get an off, you can spend the whole day within the house still doing your own things, maybe sleeping, relaxing, than you yearning to go outside and enjoy. Too much temptations are out there. Because you are a woman. You are going to go off for your off day. You are going to meet so many people of different colors, of different characters. There is this person who is going to say, we exchange numbers. 
because you have an off day just one day in a week fine the next day you're going to plan on how you're going to meet there are these drivers who sleep outside people's houses like they are rooms they are outside they are not within the houses right so they 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 have a right for them to invite you in and if you have a small heart you are going there to sleep with them this is how you're going to connect with the people because of that off so many people have been accused of being prostitutes in Dubai. Maybe, I don't know why. So if you're yearning to go to Dubai, that is what you're going to be called. Even the innocent ones are being included in the same basket. Yet they are not even, they don't know how to stand there and say, I'm selling myself. So it's better you remain in the house. Most especially to those housemaids who are working in Saudi Arabia, you should be proud, by the way. We don't have offs, which is okay. We are given security. And that, that shows that they, these people, they do care about us. Once you are given an off, you go outside, you meet someone, you do what you do. At the end of it all, the result, it's you who is going to, to, to be in a trouble, by the way. You are even going to be deported once you are pregnant. So the person who is responsible is going to remain on his job, but for your case, who can, re, who, who, who can say that keep working yet you have got pregnant in someone's house? And uh, uh, really, because you got it be, out, out, you know? You just went out to get your off and you got pregnant. My Lord, for the rest of your life, you're going to take a all of this non-stop until you die. Never regret because you are in that house. Never regret because you are not given an off day. Because there is something that that is maybe it how should i say you're being protected hmm? say if when you're coming from dubai ah those ones are from selling themselves though so they know whoever goes to dubai is going to sell herself though others are going for you know those even those ones who are in the houses but they are given offs but still they are being accused of of selling themselves during the off days. So Saudi Arabia housemaids, to those who are working in these houses, most especially in housemaids, we know we are not given off. We are given little money. But if you pray, God can bless you with that little money you are getting. There is no need to rush for too much. There is no need to rush for too much money. You just pray to God to, to help you so that you can get how you can keep that money on how you can plan for that little you are getting and you make something out of it. Now, if you get sick or if you get that HIV, will you get another chance to travel? Which house will you go to to, to work in? Who is going to employ you when you're sick? No one. No one for sure. You can't work in any house when you have HIV. Though we know even, by the way, let me tell you, HIV now is everywhere. Let it be in these countries. Let it, it is every, in every country now. You can find those people are sick. And you know what? Even if I'm sick, you can't know that I'm sick. You see me, um, you know, someone is big, is healthy, fine. He's taking that tab or he's taking that medicine daily. It is what is making him or her healthy. 
you cannot show us that you are taking it daily but inside you there is something eating you every day okay we know some people they get do different you know different diseases but it is going to hurt you my sister after knowing that you slept with a man and you got hiv from that man you've not been a prostitute just a one night stand and you got hiv aids it's a pity my sisters it feels so 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 bad hmm? the lady was so crying regretting you left your home but because you have you you need more money or you need freedom you want to always to go outside and enjoy with your friends just a one night stand at least okay get protection and protect yourself ladies not everyone who is in who is how do should I say okay it's well known that african countries they are the most people with hiv but let me tell you even in these countries some people they can fake their results and they come to work so don't think that whoever comes here has got no hiv they have it and they are working i mean apart from those who are working outside but if you're a housemaid if you were checked when you were the other side and you were you came here and they checked you and the second time i give you a check you are healthy you should take care of yourself just to take your life as a precious thing a precious thing don't take your life for granted life is precious there's nothing you can do and enjoy when you know inside you there is something eating you up when you know that every day i have to live on this medicine for me to live so take your life as a precious thing take your life as number one thing let us not please others hmm? let us not be lied people have been lied jobs and when they reach there their option is to just give their to sell themselves for so that they can get what to feed on but you are given a house because you are paid less you don't have an off that is the excuse no i need an off let me go outside and i get a job that can give me an off day my dear friend let me let me work there is no need for me to go to dubai because of an off there is no need for me to go to dubai because i need more money let me work for little so long as i have peace of mind you know so think about this before you travel to those countries which have got too much freedom for everyone hmm? you need freedom but what is going to come out of that you will regret i'm so happy that i'm under someone's house i'm so happy that every month at least i'm paid my little salary and i really appreciate so to those who just give their their life because you need more my dear sisters you're going to live with on on the medicine for the rest of your life the way i had this woman crying i said let me say to us i work for this little god what he will do for me just work with one heart you will get what really what you really deserve not from people but from god just work with one one heart my sister don't rush for too much so many people have lost their lives because they are yearning for money trust me 
if you came with a plan if you came with a mission even the little you are getting it is going to help you even the little you are getting it is going to put you somewhere it is going to change your life so consider your life as the first thing money we, we will get money no one you, we have never been satisfied with money every day we need money every day we need money but even if you don't know how to to manage even the little you have still even if they give you too much you will not manage so better appreciate what you have than taking your life for granted because of money my sisters wake up hope oh.